Also coming up this morning, we'd like to introduce you to someone. It's Robo Thespian. Yes, he is one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots. Can't quite think for himself yet. Still has to be programmed. But he can certainly be quite entertaining. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. <laughs> what a <laughs> girl. <laughs> weird. This is so weird. Yeah, we're going to be finding out why one expert thinks robots could become more intelligent than us in 15 years' time. They might even be able to crack so jokes, tell a few stories. The blinking, the way he's looking, look at that. Yeah. Can you hand to the regions for us now? Robo, that's good. And I'm ready for love. Can you hand to the regions? It's time to get the news, travel and weather where you are. He just, he didn't know what. Carol, thanks very much indeed. And I think the newest member of our team wants to say hello. Carol, a little... Oh, look! Gave Carol a little <laughs> blink there. Yeah. That's how it was. Oh, I saw... Did you, if you look very closely oh. there, I'm sure there was a little heart. Look there at is. <laughs> Proper loves you, Carol. Don't blame oh. him. I'm going to call him a him. We've been saying it all morning, haven't we? Mm. I think it's a boy. Yeah, let's take you through some details. We already have, of course, robots that can vacuum our homes. Could they soon be used to cook food, even teach our children? Well, British companies are currently at the forefront of robotic technology. In a moment, we're going to meet this one properly, one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots created right here in the UK. But first, Ricky Bolito discovers how this sort of technology is benefiting children with special needs. Hello, I am Caspar. Meet Casper. He might look a bit unusual, but this humanoid robot is helping young children living with autism. For kids with autism, sometimes even the simplest thing, like knowing when someone is happy or sad, can be a big challenge. The condition can also make it very difficult for them to talk and play with other people. But here at this specialist school in Hertfordshire, they've got a new robotic teacher helping the kids to learn. Four-year-old Byron gets to play with Casper every week. Shall we say hello to Casper? Hi. Hello, Byron. I am Casper. Let's play together. Scientists say kids with autism like the robot's simple features and repetitive phrases. The good thing about Casper is it doesn't matter what you say or what Casper says or how you do it. It's always exactly the same expression, exactly the same sound every single time. Can you make Casper have a happy face? In the last six months, teachers hear so they've noticed an improvement in the way some of the children communicate. And now researchers are working hard to further develop Casper. Engineers at the University of Hertfordshire are using the latest technology to bring these robots to life. They're even using a 3D printer to create these plastic body parts. Later this year, 20 new robots will be given out to parents and schools all over the UK. And it's hoped that Casper will help children with autism make new friends, go to school and understand the world around them a little bit better. So those are some of the practical applications. Uh, Robo Thespian was made by Engineered Arts Limited and with them now Nigel Crook who's from Oxford. Uh, Brooks University, who's brought it in for us into the studio this morning. Morning. Good morning. I think what we've got is a few because people are fascinated to see what he. What you got? He, she. He. He's got a male voice, so we call him a he. Thought okay. he was a boy. Right. Yeah. So we got. We. You've pre-programmed a few things. You for have. Us. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a few questions we can ask, so yeah. people can hear. Do you shall, want to do that? shall I ask the first one? Go on. Let's see if this works. Yep. I feel like I should say hello. <laughs> hello, Robo Thespian. Um, what's so special about robots? We robots are so special because we can work with humans and help them to achieve things they wouldn't be able to do on their own. For example, we can do repetitive tasks very accurately without getting tired or needing a coffee break. I like the way he pointed oh, I thought it. He was he was gonna give a coffee break. break. <laughs> we were warned instantly. We, we can't stand too close. No. Is that no. Because, because presumably he's, is he quite strong? He's, he's actually compliant like a human body, so he will move. He's not like an industrial robot that will cut through you like a knife through butter. Right. He is compliant, but for safety's sake, we say a, a metre and a half away. OK, got another question Go for on. him now. Um, uh, Robo Thespian, what will robots be able to do in 20 years that you can't do now? We robots today are equipped with some low-level intelligence, enabling us to sense and interact with the environment around us. 
but my descendants in 20 years' time will be able to engage in higher cognitive tasks, such as discovering new scientific theories or holding an intelligent conversation with someone. We don't see much of that around here. I think... OK, nice. I think, I think that was a bit cheeky, so, I mean, it would, it tell us, it's lovely hearing him doing his thing, but, I mean, what are the... Where do you see this going from here? Because, as we've explained, you've pre-programmed yes. those answers. So yes. he's not a thinking no. creation. No. He's doing exactly what we told him to do beforehand. Uh, the research that we're doing at Oxford Brookes University is uh, in studying how we can improve and extend human-robot interaction so that somebody could stand in front of him and ask that question and, and not get a pre-programmed answer. The, the robot will be able to understand what was said uh, and respond intelligently. Can I ask Robo Thespin why he wears his pants on the outside? I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> why have you created but him they're like that? glowing pants. Because really you could have, you could have engineered, that he could be engineered in any way. Yeah, but we didn't engineer this robot. Right. We're, we're using it as a research tool. Yeah. Charlie was a little disappointed this morning that Robo Thespin couldn't think. Well, mm. I thought yeah. that because I, the idea of voice activate voice activation yes. so he would be triggered by you know someone either saying his name or, or that kind of thing how far are we uh, away from that that's possible now you could do that now with limited phrases um, so you could put in a limited phrase like hello how are you and um, we could pick that up understand what was being said and respond back it's when you get more complicated free dialogue that it becomes much more challenging I've got a really important question for Robert Thespian it's Go the on. last one okay you ready Robert Thespian do you think you could do our job? <laughs> could I be a presenter on BBC Breakfast? Well, all you do is read from the auto cue, don't you? I can do that. When do I start? Well, you know... <laughs> Look at him. Here, there might be a vacancy. Uh, is it Come true uh, Robert Hesburn can sing? He can sing, yes. Can we... Can we do you mind? Can yeah, we, have we can get him to sing, yeah. songs they have sung for a thousand years. <laughs> the hills fill my heart with the sound of music. <laughs> my heart wants to sing every song it hears. It's all got a little bit surreal. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or is that a bit weird? No, that I love the sound of music. Magic. Well, it's been lovely to meet uh, Robert Thespian. Thank you very much for bringing him. He's very valuable, isn't he? He is, yeah. About Go on, how much is he worth? £58,000 worth of robot here. Wow. wow. No wonder we have to stand back here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. You're welcome. And uh, all this week, News Round is looking at the way robots are changing the way we work and live. You can watch Robots The Next Wave on the CBBC channel and even design your own robot on the News Round website. Does he do requests? Singing? It can, Sing no. You. No, it does specific songs, pre-programmed, unfortunately. I think, can we not request he does the next bit of our job? <laughs> Something like that. It's been uh, lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, Robert Thespian, I think, is, is just going to do a little bit more of our work yeah, now. So. It's time to get the news travel and weather where you are. It's, it's all in the timing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to feel like someone stood behind me. What do you reckon? Yeah, I, think, I think you've got company there, Steph. Who's your friend, Steph? <laughs> you've made him blush. My only friend in Look, life. You've made him blush. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have as well. Yeah, Apparently, he's... he thinks I'm pretty. Uh, How do you know that? Because the, the guy, no, I shouldn't, the guy who's helping to operate him, I, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. yes. Has said that to me. He could be just being nice, which is also, you know. Yeah. But do you know what, Steph? He also thinks I'm 29. Which so is true. So yeah, which uh, is obvious. <laughs> yeah. So is, he obviously tells the truth. If you're a little bit mystified, there he is. Look, he's oh. looking sort of... Bashful. Oh, look, he's a little bing. Yeah. That's uh, Robo Thespian, and we'll meet him properly a little later on. I think we should call him Rob. I, I think Robo Thespian's a bit too long and complicated. All right. Robbie? Steph, thank you. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> not allowed to touch him, not allowed to touch him by the way. I'm not don't going touch. to, don't worry. <laughs> Go and get him a cup of tea or something. <laughs> now, time is 8.21. Let's see what's coming up here on Breakfast. Are we introducing you to Robo Thespian? Yes, he's one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots. He can't quite think for himself, still has to be programmed by someone else, but he can Peter. certainly be entertaining. He can even do impressions. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan 
ended. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Luke, you do not realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your power. He's kind of enjoying the limelight, yeah, I think. Yeah, and I would say for any children watching at home, don't worry. It's just a game. Welcome We're just playing. We're push, gonna be push the stop button. <laughs> push the stop button. <laughs> He's still going. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> Experts think robots will be able to rule the world one day. That's coming up later. <laughs> A53 the time now. We already have robots that can vacuum our homes, but could they soon be used to cook our food or even teach our children? British companies are currently at the forefront of robotic technology. In a moment, we will meet him, one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots created right here in the UK. But first, Ricky Bellito discovers how this sort of technology is benefiting children with special needs. Hello, I am Caspar. Meet Casper. He might look a bit unusual, but this humanoid robot is helping young children living with autism. For kids with autism, sometimes even the simplest thing, like knowing when someone is happy or sad, can be a big challenge. The condition can also make it very difficult for them to talk and play with other people. But here at this specialist school in Hertfordshire, they've got a new robotic teacher helping the kids to learn. Four-year-old Byron gets to play with Casper every week. Shall we say hello to Casper? Hello, Byron. I am Casper. Let's say play together. together. Scientists say kids with autism like the robot's simple features and repetitive phrases. The good thing about Casper is it doesn't matter what you say or what Casper says or how you do it. It's always exactly the same expression, exactly the same sound every single time. Can you make Casper have a happy face? In the last six months, teachers hear so they've noticed an improvement in the way some of the children communicate. And now researchers are working hard to further develop Casper. Engineers at the University of Hertfordshire are using the latest technology to bring these robots to life. They're even using a 3D printer to create these plastic body parts. Later this year, 20 new robots will be given out to parents and schools all over the UK. And it's hoped that Casper will help children with autism make new friends, go to school and understand the world around them a little bit better. Here is our very own robot. We've borrowed him for the morning. Can I call him Robbie? Robo His Thespian. name's Artie. Oh, Artie. Artie. This is Nigel yeah. Crook from Oxford Brooks Hello. University, who's very helpfully explaining to us what, why Artie? Our robo thespian. Our oh, RT. And a robo thespian is, is a creation to do what? what? What What's he capable of? He's designed to be an entertainer, so he's an acting robot. He performs extracts from movies, he can sing, he can entertain. He's actually designed to be used in museums and exhibitions to talk about the exhibits that are there. Now, we, we, had, we had a little blast of his singing earlier on. Can we do that now? Can we hear the sound of... Is it the sound of music he It does? can do the sound of music. The hills are alive. Okay, because yeah. this, this is fantastic. Oh, hills are alive with the sound of music. With songs they have sung for a thousand years. The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song it hears. <laughs> okay. Does that all mean that? That makes me feel slightly redundant. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel a bit weird. <laughs> why, why that voice? I mean, how does that come about? Is that just... You're, you're just, just having a laugh, random, really? Yeah, I think, I think the makers were, were having a laugh with that one, definitely. Uh, Look, I'm going to ask Robo Thespian a question, because we can do that, can't we? We've pre-arranged questions. We have. we have to explain that, because yeah. he obviously can't think for himself. So, Not yet. Artie, what's so special about robots? We robots are so special because we can work with humans and help them to achieve things they wouldn't be able to do on their own. For example, we can do repetitive tasks very accurately without getting tired or needing a coffee break. And then you're pointing at me. 
But, but so the, the, the movement controls there, you're also yeah. controlling those. So what's he capable of doing with his arms? He can do a full range of expressions with his arms and fingers, which is why we're interested in him, because we're interested in how to improve human-robot interaction and to get it to respond naturally in a human dialogue. So concept. the dream is that instead of having to pre-program, because yeah. we've got these questions here, he'll just be able to genuinely, automatically respond? Yes. Shall I ask the next question? Go on. OK. Um, Artie, what will robots be able to do in 20 years' time that you can't do now? We robots today are equipped with some low-level intelligence, enabling us to sense and interact with the environment around us. But my descendants in 20 years' time will be able to engage in higher cognitive tasks, such as discovering new scientific theories or holding an intelligent conversation with someone. We don't see much of that around here. He always has to say something at the end that spoils yeah. it, doesn't he? <laughs> always slightly mean. Am I the only one who just wants to hear more singing? Go on, what, Can what other give us songs another song? We have? Another song? We could do another what, song. What, what else has he got? The man with the controls behind you. The there. man with the he's controls. He's starting to panic. He's, he's got another. <laughs> I'm singing oh. in the rain. Classic. <laughs> just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Good timing there. He's got it all. I'm he's got it all. So, while he carries on singing. So Tell us about the future. So, I mean, you know, how close are we to having something that genuinely can respond and we can so that can think for itself? Or, so how close are we to having something that can put the laundry away? I think we could do that. Putting the laundry away is not too bad, but having an intelligent conversation, actually, we, I think we're a long way from that. Really? Robots could uh, have conversations about very narrowly focused topics, but a broad, intelligent conversation is a really challenging problem. Do you think of him as a kind of a friend? Not yet. Yeah, you should do now because look, his eyes have got hearts <laughs> in them. Look at this. He loves us all. <laughs> <laughs> you hold hands. You're not allowed to touch him though, are you? Because uh, he, he, Yeah, he's actually quite compliant, so you can move his arm and he will just put Careful. it back to where he wants <laughs> it to break be. break him. We no, were told okay. we weren't allowed to touch him. So it's just on, in then. case he whips round and catches you, that's right, all. Okay. Uh, but you can... <laughs> uh, Nigel. It's been great fun having you. Thank you thank very you. much. You're welcome. And uh, of course, thanks to Engineered Arts Limited, who created Robo Thespian. And all this week, News Round is looking at the way robots are changing the way we work and live. And people get a chance to see him live, don't they? Yes, this coming Friday at the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford in the evening. Come along, you'll be able to interact with him. Meet him. And meet him, yeah. Hmm. Hear him sing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Example. And you can watch Robots The Next Wave on the CBBC channel. Even design your own robot on the Newsround website. Now, the Earl of Wessex turns 50 today, and to mark the occasion, he agreed to give just one television interview. We should have got him to sing to the prince. Happy birthday. Why don't we think of that? <gasps> uh, it wasn't with the royal correspondent at the interview, but a group of BBC News school reporters from East Sussex. Yes, they contacted the Earl themselves and, to their surprise, received an invitation to the palace. That's it from us this morning. Thank you for your time. And we're going to say goodbye with Robo Thespian, obviously. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>